Welcome to Crestorio. My name is Nilos. This is episode 45 of our Let's Play campaign. So you can see a lot of movement here, lots of robots in the air. And that's because I just realized that this new location with iron that I want to take is actually not within my concrete level. So off we go, more concrete everywhere. And pollution wise, just to get an overview, nothing there. We got, uh, so no reason to be attacked by biters at all. And breaking force, that's it. So now we only have research that requires uh, this one. Oh, matter converter. Yeah, we can't do that. This is matter research. So we're going to take all the stuff that isn't matter research ish. We might even do this one. Uh, I kind of, oh, really? High explosive cannon shells? Oh, that comes afterwards. Strange. Uh, so this one, I might use the artillery to pull them close and then do not the rocket turret, but the cannon turret to take the medium distance and then lasers on the close distance. I think that would be fun. Not for the biters, but psh, who cares? And this one, we're gonna do an upgrade because I have an idea. Those are always risky. There, and this one. So what I'd like to do is actually upgrade all of this. Uh, actually not. I will start by taking the stuff that isn't working. All the ones that are dead, Take those out because I don't want to upgrade those there. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You guys are dead. And these are dead. And that one. That one. That one. And that one. That one. That's about it. Okay, so those are the dead ones. Let's uh, get some construction bots over here to pick them up. That's easier said than done. Is this okay? Is everything covered in here? I think it might not be, but uh, so in the meantime, I will do this thing. Whoa. Oh, that's that's mine. Ha. Uh, that's me. I'm going to go over here and pick up stuff. There we go. That one might be needed, though. So these will need to be upgraded somewhere, somehow, by some other ones. Yeah. Okay, so that will speed up this by a bit. Not a lot, but a bit. And over here, I'll do the same. First we take the stuff out that isn't working. That's it. There, that's not working. And we take this one out as well, pretty obvious. And then we can scale the rest of it up like that. Go here. Ah, there's more to it than that because I actually have another idea. And so if we look at this, they are now using two pollution per minute. That's the minimum that can be done. However, what if I did this and just basically filled the rest of it up? They don't get placed until I hold a one second break. Boom. Did I get all of them? I got all of them. And I still have 18 left. Nice. And some of them. So now each of these is producing seven pollution. So it's definitely more pollution. But you can also see that the speed has now been upped. What is the speed now? Speed is 1.5 and it used to just be 0.5. So is there a question about. Yeah, they're not actually able to. Some of them are actually oversaturated. Doesn't matter. This is what uh, what we're gonna do from now on. And I will actually take one of these locations as a blueprint. This one. I think I have to do that thing. Then can I then do it over here? Well, I have to, right? Like this. No, 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 no. I'm going to take you out, this out. And this one out. Because they don't need to be there anymore. Then I take... Oops. There. 
wrong direction. Try again. Yeah. And I want to take it on the shortest path here because then it's more likely that it will be able to fill up. But now let's actually see if this is going to work. Is it going to work? Not quite, but so be it. Keep going with this. Definitely not that one here. And this is also on my quest to say we're going to use more power, more everything. Me placing this has to be done meticulous and careful and all that. There. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's go there. We have a lot of these. We have we have a big blob. Yep. Now as soon as I do this, I will be starting to move all of this towards these up here. So that also has to be moved. But that's a a smaller issue. Oh whoa. Another bigger issue. But okay, that has been that bigger issue has been waiting for that one to be done, but now that bigger issue is, or smaller issue is here. Like this. You're gonna take that for sure, but this one. Get rid of all of these forests everywhere. That's really a lovely job for 4,000 robots. And they like it. They like it. They keep sending more up. I don't know if it's actually going to be using all of them or not. Let's see. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like all of them will be used at least for a bit. Probably need some bigger storage. Anyway, that's going to be uh, a trouble for another time. There. Let's put this somewhat in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, two, two, four, yep, and then three. That's obviously not correct. Everyone's eager to get their there are iron in here. There. That works. And I would like to know how much is actually in here. There, and that's just a green. And I don't know. There we go. 1,000. Woohoo! It's not impressive because most of them are actually turned the wrong way. There. Now that's going to be more impressive. And let's just see how it will scale up, but not beyond 10,000. I don't think so. So this thing is probably generating quite a bit of pollution. So let's. Um, Let's take a look at this and then, oh, did I miss some part of it? I think I'd like to get this here. So, boom, and boom. Everything we can, anywhere we can, just Try to shield this from generating too much pollution. That was it. Okay, now we're doing high explosive cannon shells afterwards. Now this is not ideal because transporting these all the way across the map is a bad deal. So I'd rather actually take and remove some of it. 
also have a bit of copper there that we don't really need. This one is... Hey, actually this is not even keeping up anymore. And, okay, that's high explosive. Is there any more research? Yeah, we we'll just complete. Now we just go all out on research, right? Everything except the matter research. Oops, is one of these a matter research? Nope, they're not. Good. So, let's see. Definitely one of these could, should be a good suggestion to build over on the other side. The one thing though is, is this really how I want to do it these days? I mean, I don't think this is the right way, to be honest. I do think it's correct to clean it inside here because then we have a closed loop of water here. So that's probably correct. On the other hand, this is also just nice to have. And what I could do was just do like kind of a, like, That one, what does that do? That gives me 20% productivity and 20% speed. It seems like a really good deal. And then combine this with upgrading all of it to blues, then I think we're, we're in action. Sounds about right. Yeah, it doesn't do much except how am I going to do this? I'm going to do it. I guess that was the easiest part. And that's the remaining part. There. That should just, all things considered, just add 40% more output. And it's not able to output, which is good, actually. And I will also make sure that I highlight that this has now been upgraded. And we probably also have issues with power. Really? It's at 50, that's probably good enough. And this one. Okay, so this belt is no longer output, is no longer, ah, it's kind of almost constrained, which is expected, right? No, it's not expected. If I add 40% yield and well, that's a problem there. How the hell did that go out there? So if I add 40% yield and add 50% capacity, the, the capacity difference between 30 to 45, that's plus 50%, then it really shouldn't be constrained. Hmm. Although, I mean, this seems to work. Uh, or is it maybe a matter of this might not be fast enough? These are actually updated. Oh, right, I, they got updated by themselves, so they also got... What's the point of having these? The only point of this is to prevent production. Let's check. Okay, so they are, these are working sufficiently fast without any issues. You know what? If nothing else, how much pollution is actually doing? It's six pollution. Oops. How much now? Eight and a half. Seriously, it goes from eight and a half to six. Well, that's a huge waste of resources. That's fine. Unfortunately, this is... I'm going to copy this one because we're going to build more of those. But I think I'm actually going to take this one out. This is going to be a strange thing. I'm going to take this part here as well. And... Now I'm just wondering, maybe... Could I upgrade all of these? 
to be more efficient. Maybe. Yeah, as you know, I can't talk and click at the same time, so we'll have to do it this way. Got it. And then and full upgrade like that. A lot of crap that gets thrown on the floor. That's really odd. There, and then it goes through. Everything's fine. That one as well. Needs an indicator. Got it. And this thing, and actually that thing as well has to be upgraded, which I don't think I did down here. Nope. Yes, so that's done. And I think I have three of them. Yes, so let's get the last last one here. Just make sure that we have enough. This one, is it inbound? Yeah, yeah it's on the way, 65 on the in route. Just get a few more. I got 30, waiting for 30 more. Coming, 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 coming. There, that's 20, 10, 0. Let's this one start by upgrading the outside and going inside. I wonder if there's some other bottleneck that I missed. So frig acid is probably not going to be an issue. There. And then we upgrade. And, and this one here. All right, that's strange that it doesn't seem to be doing quite what I wanted to do. It's definitely not keeping up. So, yeah, it's water. All right, we're going to request 100 water. I don't really understand why this is running out of water. It really, I really am a bit puzzled by it. Like, how can this be running out of water when it's a closed loop? Guess we'll find out, or I guess we'll never find out. It's more, probably more correct. These are in route. Okay, so that's the 10, 20. Just waiting for it to come in. Let's have a look on the grand, grand scale. This one, how much is being picked up? We pick up four and a half thousand every time. Okay, that's a lot. These. Maybe it's also time to build the next one. Oh, really? Do I not have landfill some... Do I not have landfill? That's so... So strange if I don't have landfill. Maybe. Maybe I don't. Maybe I should just build it like something... A little ugly hack down here. And this is all fine and dandy, except I can't really figure out how to do that. All right, let's go in here and figure out what is your problem. Are you still... No, then they look, they're actually okay in water. This one's okay to be running low. So this water could probably... no. Hmm. Okay, so we are now getting full belts out and not consuming full belts in. So that's good, I guess. Oops, that's not good.
So this, imp oh, this has certainly improved, right? Yeah, this has really improved a lot. Let's see if it actually is improved sufficiently. Uh, what about this one? So now I guess this is the hold up. That is not very impressive, is it? Could I do like this one, this thing? How would that be? That would be like again, 20% speed, 20% productivity. It's gonna be a 40% increase. If that's the case, I'm certainly not gonna do it the same way as last time. I'm gonna try it this way. And then, oh, this is going to be expensive. On the other hand, would it also be an option? No, I can't put... You know, this one really needs modules. But if I did modules, I could only do three. I mean, beacons, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this. Let's try and reschedule this. This one could add 20% productivity. I could add 30% productivity, but that would be way more expensive, actually. That's actually interesting how much... Uh, how much additional work I have to do to get that last 10% productivity. The fact that these have three modules makes them quite valuable. You know what? I'm not going to do beacons because beacons, then I'd only have to do, th only able to do three and that would not be enough. Nope, 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 nope. We're going to actually just do this. This is a bit insane. And not surprisingly, I don't have enough. What I'm also going to do is, first of all, hook it up again. This, oh, never mind. And we are going to take that one. Because I can't add 40% additional throughput without also upgrading belts, I think. Got it. Let's go out. And out here, we're also going to improve the belts up there, the belts down there. Nothing else changes except that. Right, that's going to be an awful lot of this. I wish these are recovered. I don't even know if they are recovered. You know, I can actually check that. Uh, fast belt. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we got some. What about these? Do I have? I have 140 on the way. Yeah. There's still 500 in logistics stores. That's great to see that. And this is all working on sort of building, getting more iron. This is still not fast enough, but whatever. Okay. Here. We're going to get that one. Just so we can. See that it's working. I'm pretty sure this one's not gonna be good enough. This is still not enough. 200, don't care. And just get the last one in. Boom. That is nice. Now this uses 130 megawatts of power. Look at that. Look at that speed up, right? It was stuck at 130, so we're gonna do more of this. We're just gonna go all in on this. Oops. And let's start by getting swish, get all of these out, and then get that one. This is pretty obviously going to consume all of our modules, but uh, yeah, modules don't really care. There. Get all of it out. This one. 
up to 200 because that's what it's going to be requiring. That's it. Now we go out, we update this part. And we... I don't know. This one. 1 1.4. Okay, so it's still keeping up, still keeping up. And this is still it. 75 in roads, 113. So we wait for that one to get in so we can chop this one off. Twenty and zero. Ten. Got it. And again. In with us. Perfect. We have one more. Right? Do we not have one more? Is that really all we have? Huh. Okay. Well, the other one that I think I like is actually here. Because you are... Oof. Yeah, you definitely need more. We can upgrade this one for now. Don't think it's going to be necessary. Let's see. Do we have these? Not yet. We're still having 500 in logistics stores. That's amazing. Okay, so we now have 500 being picked up all the time. 600. So these are, these are pretty good. And that one's dead. That's pretty horrible. Why did you die suddenly? How are these things just dying? Water? How is this one full and that one full? At the same time. That is a mystery to me. Oh no. Oh no. It outputs additional. No. Oh my god. I did not see that. Huh. That's so funny. So. The productivity is not only here. But it's also yielding 20% additional junk water which means i'm basically making water out of nothing here that's not great uh that makes no sense but whatever it just means i have to make an overflow of some kind yeah uh that's gonna be right there good so this thing is going to have an input and an output and it's going to go from these. Oops. Outbound can be here. However, the inbound has to be constrained based on how much we have here. So you're only taking this in if the water here is greater than 10,000. Isn't that crazy how much? Look how much water has been generated out of nothing. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually a different perspective here. I don't want to do that. I think the correct thing here is just voiding the water. That means we need a liquid evaporator. Let's try and get one of those. Do that five. Nine in route. That's fine. Huh. Got it. And 
that's going to take here but then that one will be constrained and we'll do the liquid evaporator don't have anything this one is only going when water is greater than 10,000 okay how fast is this could be faster definitely could be three seconds maybe okay but it's going down is it yeah 16 Yes, so it is going down. <clears throat> I guess we need this thing also in the other ones. I can't believe we're actually generating water out of nothing. Oh well, there you go. Okay, thank you guys for joining. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope you will be checking back next time and then we'll see what comes up of silly things. Water from nothing, yep. And uh, yeah, so far things look good and we'll... Uh, See you next time. Thank you for joining. Until next time, stay effective.